Hello everybody and welcome to this special Chinese New Year edition of the Money Man. Sun Yin Fai Lo, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Now, as you've probably guessed, if you've not read the title already, I'm going to talk about Hong Kong dollars because it's been a pretty big week in Hong Kong in terms of banknote releases. And what we've had is all of the three commercial banks um, that issue currency have released the final two denominations, thus completing the new generation of Hong Kong dollar banknotes. And of course, they've released the two lowest denominations being the 50 and the 20 Hong Kong dollar banknotes. So in this video, I'm going to show you the 50 Hong Kong dollar banknotes from all three issuing commercial banks. And let's start off with the first one, which is the Standard Chartered Bank 50 Hong Kong dollar banknote. And here it is. Now, I love the color scheme. Um, I've always been a big fan of these 50s. They used to be purple back in the colonial days. And then once they got rid of the uh, cotton paper $10 note, which used to be green, they then decided to make the 50 green. And I love the old purple, but how I, however, you know, I still like these green 50s, so they're pretty cool. Now, I'll go through some of the core features of this banknote, and you'll see that there are similarities that all of the three banknotes share, and I'll explain that in a moment. Now, you can see right off the bat, it's dominated by the Standard Chartered Bank HQ building. And you can see the Standard Chartered logo right there, and this is a very dominant feature in this note. You can see we've got the standard chartered logo right here and you can see it appears here and here and here throughout the note as well now if I tip it up to the light you will just see one of the security features which is here you can see the sort of golden SCB logo and then we've got the denomination 50 now this does become more prominent under uh, ultraviolet light um, so that is one of the security features embedded into this banknote You'll also notice that we've got a security strip just running right of center. And you can see that we've got 50 ever so slightly represented throughout the strip. And you'll also see that the butterfly is present as well. So you can see that the theme that they've gone for in the 50 Hong Kong dollar note is actually nature. And this is, you know, reinforced with this um, reflective butterfly, which continues as a feature throughout all the three different 50 Hong Kong dollar banknotes and you can see the denomination represented there and it's quite nice how it catches the light and you get these two little you know sort of reflective circles appearing on it it's very very nice now you can see that we've got our serial number on the right hand side in black ink and on the left down at the bottom and we've got braille for the visually impaired and you can see we've got all the core information of the banknote the issuing party um, you know, the directors, all that stuff, the chief financial officer, and they're all represented in traditional Chinese and in English. Those are the two official languages of Hong Kong. And if we have a look, just here, we've got the watermark, which is the Bahinia flower. Now, there are some slight variations between the different banknotes in how the Bahinia flower is portrayed, but it's pretty much always been the Bahinia flower in the watermark for Hong Kong dollars since um, the handover of Hong Kong in 1997. So you'll see that as a common feature in pretty much all recent Hong Kong dollar banknotes. So yeah, very, very nice. Quite attractive color scheme. Can't go wrong with this one. It's a nice banknote. Spin it around, look at the back. And you can see they've gone for a vertical profile on the back. It's really, really nice. I think these, uh, these banknotes are some of the best in the series. I've been very critical of this new generation of Hong Kong banknotes um, because we've had some incredible series in the past and there's a lot of expectation in terms of the design and this new series has just not met that expectation in my opinion. However, these 50 Hong Kong dollars do go some way to redeeming the, uh, you know, the, the design, the overall judgment of this set. Um, and I think that going with nature is nice. And what you've got represented here is, if I just take it out, you can see we basically got the life cycle represented. So we've got the caterpillar and then we've got the chrysalis uh, representing its transformation and then its final stage is a butterfly. Um, so I kind of like 
the attention to de detail, you know, the emphasis on the cycle of life. I think that's really, really interesting. And the colours are quite vibrant as well. I like how this, you know, this light lighting feature here, sort of, you know, the sun rising, I guess it is in the background, is just, it's really nice. You know, Hong Kong, you know, the, 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 the visualisation of Hong Kong is often a cityscape. Um, a concrete jungle however if you do get out into the city there's lots of incredible nature to be explored in Hong Kong and I like that the banknotes these banknotes actually celebrate that so yeah that's the first one the SCB 50 now let's have a look at the next one the next one is going to be from Bank of China now in my opinion this is the least interesting but hey that's just my opinion so here it is. So you can see a lot of the um, security features are exactly the same. And that is done on purpose, of course. Um, as we've got four issuing parties here in Hong Kong, we've got the government that deals with coinage and the 10 Hong Kong dollar polymer notes. And then the commercial banks deal with the 20s, the 50s, the 100s, the 500s and the 1000 Hong Kong dollar banknotes. So there are strict rules that they have to abide by in terms of their design to make sure that whatever issuing bank um, produces a note, it's instantly recognisable to the public. Um, the denomination, the value has to be instantly recognisable. So the colour schemes, um, the security features, the layout, there is always a similarity between each issuing bank and that's done on purpose, they have to do that. Um, so you can see that they've actually gone with you know almost the same layout. I mean all this is the same. You can see the security strip is in the same place. The, the dominant feature being Bank of China building, you know, the the, the butterfly um, security feature. It's, it's all the same stuff. Now, I don't know about this, but I think there's some subliminal politics in here. But I, I could be wrong, but I'm just making a guess. But I, I find this quite interesting how you've got the bohinia flower, right? Which is the symbol of Hong Kong. And it's almost blooming out of the Bank of China building. Now, I find that quite fascinating. Because obviously Bank of China, China, right? And you've also got the symbol of Hong Kong blooming out of China's financial connections. So I think there's a little bit of politics in this bank note, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think there's some subliminal messaging in here? It's kind of interesting because the other two bank notes don't actually have the Bohinia flower featured right in the center of the banknote so what you've got here is almost like hong kong flourishing out of its connections with china its reunification with china fascinating stuff i don't know i'm just speculating let me know what you think do you think i'm you know i've been smoking something or do you think i'm, I'm on the money here uh, please let me know now the watermark again is the bahinia flower um it's a slightly different uh, image of the bahinia flower but it is the same flower Spin it around and look at the back. We've got a different butterfly depicted on the back. The colours are not as vibrant. And again, it's a bit more plain. You've just got a butterfly sort of, you know, <laughs> feeding from a from a, a flower and that's it. But again, I like um, how they've paid attention to the flora and fauna of Hong Kong. And, you know, it, it, it's quite a popular theme amongst many nations' banknotes at the moment, uh, flora and fauna. So you can see that Hong Kong is uh, continuing that trend. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. The last one, which I think is probably the best in terms of the reverse, it's the HSBC 50 Hong Kong dollar banknote. And here it is. So I won't labour um, going over the uh, security features anymore because they're all the same, as you can see. What I don't like about this banknote is the profile of the lion. It's slightly different on each of the different denominations of the HSBC banknotes. The lion is sort of angled slightly differently in each one and it just looks weird um in some of them i i don't care for it at all i wish they'd just chosen a good profile of the lion and stuck with it through all the banknotes i think that would have been better however that's just a small minor criticism on my part we've got the bohinia flower and the 50 denomination represented in the watermark and the bohinia flower looks slightly different um but it's 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 you know it's the same flower spin it around and i like this one much more Colours are much more vibrant, and I really like it. And I, I like the image of, you know, the flat image of the butterfly with its wings open. And you've just got a bit more contrast, you know, with, you know, these flowers here and then the green. It just looks a little bit better to me. I enjoy this one more. 
And I like how they've continued with the same theme of butterflies, but they've used three different species, um, which can be found in Hong Kong. I think that's a really cool thing as well. Uh, now, <laughs> this kind of boggles the mind a little bit, because it just says butterfly and flowers. Yeah, well, duh. I mean, I could have figured that out. Um, I would have liked to have known the species of the butterfly. That would have been a bit more helpful. Um, so <laughs> I think that's kind of too simplistic. Um, but other than that, you know, you can't go wrong with this. It's a beautiful, beautiful banknote. And these are highly desirable at the moment. I've had lots and lots and lots of requests for these banknotes. Um, so as you can see behind me, um, I've got quite a lot. Um, I do have more coming over the next couple of days. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll be giving some away at Chinese New Year to our friends and relatives, but um, most of it will be swapped or sold, I imagine. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think of this incredible trio of banknotes. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I will be showing off the 20s in another video very, very, very soon, so keep an eye out for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three more videos that show off the full, complete sets of the new generation of Hong Kong banknotes from the three issuing commercial banks. So do look out for those. I've got so much content on the way for you guys in the next few weeks. It's going to be madness. I know I've been a bit quiet over Christmas because I was traveling through Europe, um, but I'm back in Hong Kong now and I'm back to work and I'm going to be giving you some really good content in the next few days uh, and weeks. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a very, very happy Chinese New Year and God bless you all. It's the Money Man signing out for now. Bye bye.